there is a message which God has been giving me pertaining to Zambia. Zambia. Say Zambia. Say Zambia. Say Zambia. Say Zambia. There is a message that I gave in September 2017. According to this message, the message was about their late president, former president, their late former president, Kenneth Kaunda, founding fund. You can look for the message. It was published in September 2017. And the message also mentioned a personality called HH during that time. It was talking of the current president. And one of the things that was pointed out was that it was important for this personality called HH when he finally arrives in power to have the spirit of forgiveness. Hallelujah. You can listen to the message. It is there on YouTube. So, in connection to that message, God has been showing me that he, indeed the HH has yes, got has the spirit of forgiveness, but some of his followers are vindictive. They are petty and what? Vindictive. I've been praying and also praying for him and his family because God has been telling me that under this man, he wants to produce prosperity in Zambia which will also positively impact other countries like Zimbabwe and so on. The policies of that man. That's what the Holy Spirit has been telling me. And the Holy Spirit has been telling me, pray for him to succeed. There are people who have got a character which is not like his character in the organization that he belongs to. One of the things that God has told me is that some of the people are vindictive. Others are corrupt, which may cause him to appear like he was tolerating corruption after his time is over in government. But that's not the subject of today. The subject of today is vindictiveness. So, the Spirit of God was telling me that if they touch the former president who was ruling before the current one, they'll be doing what is not in the mind of God. I'm not a Zambian. I don't have any investments in Zambia. I only speak what I'm convinced is the what is the mind of God. If someone has got a different revelation, uh, YouTube is like an ocean. It's like the Pacific Ocean. You don't need to criticize me. You just do your own independent video. You tell us in your own video, Without mentioning my name, I'm nothing. You tell us what you are convinced is the will of God. But what I've seen in the revelation is that that man, according to the mind of God, they should leave him alone. Hallelujah. Who is that man that I'm referring to? The man who was president, who is now former president. The Spirit of God says, if they want that country to descend into confusion, they should just start harassing that man. They will just create violence which was not there, animosity which was not there. And he said, I must tell those who are in power today that power, political power is not permanent. What you use against your perceived enemy, it can be used against you. In the future, when you are no longer sitting in a position of power. Because human power is just temporary. Hallelujah. I may be standing on this pulpit. I don't know how much time I've been granted to stand on this pulpit as the senior pastor. I may start to operate like I'm a peacock to move like I'm a peacock. To operate like you are all my slaves. 
when I don't know that the days are reducing very fast. It's only God who is the source of all power. To God alone belongs what? All power. So to all my Zambian brothers and sisters, including those who may feel that I'm not their brother or sister because they, don't, they may not believe in what I'm doing, I ask you this time around, to, to, to give me a listening ear and pray about the message to God. Maybe you can hear what I've heard in the spirit and see what I've seen in the spirit and to avert unnecessary problems in your country. The spirit of God says, you have got enough problems as it is to deal with. Don't create new ones. You have got enough problems to deal with as it is don't create what? New ones. What do I mean by saying don't create new ones? When they start tormenting that man, it will anger a lot of people, millions of people in that country. And then they will be planting a seed of re revenge and vindictiveness because the man didn't become president from nowhere, yet people who supported him. Those people will not be happy. Hallelujah. They won't be happy when he's tormented. Hallelujah. They will start to create commotion. They will start to pull down when these ones who are building are trying to build and they will be pulling down. Can you build a nation? When you are in the same nation, others are building, others are destroying. Can you build anything? A case in point is, is Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, people are not speaking with one voice. When elections were done in 2018, we said it, that the way forward is prayer, dialogue, and consensus. And politicians decided not to listen to us. Are things really moving in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the correct direction in this country? Because when those who are building are trying to build, others will be saying, ah, no, here there is no building. They are just looting. They are not building. It's just a lie. Someone will be just speaking whatever they want to speak. In the end, you are not moving. So God said, I must tell my Zambian brothers and sisters that they, right now they are united. And even those who supported the one who vacated, some of them, quite a number of them, they are willing to support the one who came because of his magnanimous personality, humble personality, humble demeanor. So those who are following him, those who are supporting him in the structures, they should not sabotage the assignment that God has given him by being petty and vindictive. That man, leave him alone. That says God. Father, we thank you for this message. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your grace upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.